This is a circle that I'll be trapped in for the next 60 minutes. And I've got to use Minecraft hacks, tips, and tricks to see if I can go from zero to $100,000 before time runs out. All right, step one, I do feel like we could probably grind out some wood here. I could sell this for a little bit of profit and invest it, but let's see. This gives us eight logs. So if I were to maybe sell these logs, they sell for 27.6. It's not a lot of money. We've got a lily pad. You can't sell that, but I, maybe I could sell it to some players who are online. Let's get some more wood really quick. Each one of these is worth like $4. I mean, it's, it's if I sold it, it's not bad. I feel like honestly, the best start here is just wood. You got to focus on the wood grind because this might give us enough money to invest into something else, maybe some more trees. Now I'm not exactly sure the best maneuver to do at this point. We've got 33 logs, we've got a dream, and we don't have much else. I was like, honestly, Loki hoping there would be like something in the water, uh, but unfortunately we are circles inside of the uh, in swamp. So there's really not a lot in here. Okay, we have 19 saplings. That feels like, and that's just like an immense number. I'm starting a tree farm now. That's our tree farm. We're gonna convert a couple logs into oak planks and this can become our first crafting table. Maybe a couple more planks. I do need a hoe because I actually got two seeds which I could plant here and make more money. Honestly, I feel like while we wait for these to grow, I maybe wanna start digging. And since I can start with my tools, I do have a decent shovel. We can dig pretty quick. Okay, here's the idea. As I dig, my excavation level goes up. The higher it gets, the better rewards I get from mining dirt. It's like a special thing on the server. So I get glowstone and then the glowstone can be sold either. That's unfortunate. But what about the glowstone itself? Can I sell that? Yes, for like $10 each. So if I were to dig and grow levels, this is an opportunity to make money, but I don't know how good it is. Okay, okay, okay. We get our glowstone, we got our dirt. Let's go ahead and see like what this would actually net us if we did this strategy the whole time. Ooh, that's not a lot. 54 minutes left. Okay, let's get let's get innovating here. Iron could probably sell for some money. I'm gonna rethink this. If we really wanna if we really wanna do this efficiently, we're gonna have to go straight down. It's gonna be tough because the diamond pickaxe that I'm currently using is at the end of its life. I'm not I'm not even sure we're gonna make it down there. Some coal right here. All of the oh this is good. All this is worth some cash, dude. We got a lot of iron ore, but I really need to get diamond ASAP. I'll be much appreciative right now, Minecraft, if you would let me just straight up dig on diamonds. Just with, oh God, we're already bedrock. All right, this ain't good. None of what I mine can actually be sold in its raw form. All of it must be smelted except the coal. I'm gonna sell it anyway. I'm gonna do a quick mining session here in a straight line and just kind of beg and pray that I find diamonds. Okay, a little bit of coal. It's not really what we're looking for. All right, all right, this ain't, this ain't looking good. I just personally don't see this like working for us. We've made like $18. I just don't see a big reason to continue this strategy. So let me see if I can change it up. Okay, back to the top. We do have a couple trees that have grown, which is exciting. We're gonna see what we could sell. So all of that just sold. $774 is what we're at. All right, we could make even more because if I come here and create a Minecraft smelting furnace, and then I use this. I just realized that I got rid of all my coal. I guess we're using wood. We've got to be really efficient here. So if we can keep these smelting pretty much at all times, that's going to help us. Actually, what I'm going to do, this is going to be interesting. There's an auction house. We're going to browse this and see if we can find the cheapest things. Literally, there's three things that I could buy. A piece of rabbit, 64 torches, and that's it. There's actually just two. Unless I like refresh it and get lucky and nab something, like that's an opportunity. One dollar. Oh, I think I got it. I actually think I just snagged something, guys. I just bought a mending book for one dollar. Now, I'm not sure what the going market rate of mending books is. I'm going to sell it for $5,000. And if this actually sells, that like 5Xs our money. Uh, let's check this stuff. Eight copper, 14 iron. I think that's all we actually smelted. And then can this sell for money? This is worth 128. So this will be our biggest sale yet if we were to sell the iron. But the question is, should I maybe make a pickaxe just in case? We're 43 minutes left. We literally just sold our mending book for $5,000. That is going to fund some serious investments here. I'm gonna get this tree cut down and we're gonna see what type of investments we can make with it. We're gonna go back to the auction house really quick. I wanna see if there's any other deals we can nab really quick. I think, I'm pretty sure I just nabbed another really good deal. I just bought 64 fireworks for $200. I'm pretty sure the market rate of these is actually very high. The cheapest that I see is 15,000. We are actually gonna make so much money. I'm gonna sell it for 14,000. I'm just gonna undercut it to guarantee the sale. This could literally bring our total to $20,000 without leaving a circle by flipping items and just collecting things. Let me go ahead and clear this out because I want more seeds. Seeds are expensive. These are about $100 each. So by collecting my own, we're going to save ourselves a lot of money here. All right, we have seven wheat seeds now we can place. So maybe I'll just do it all like right here. Oh, I just got another idea. You get a free daily key every single day you play. All you type is daily key and you just get it. Now, if I look at the market rate of these, these are selling for 39,000. So I'm gonna sell mine for 35. Someone's definitely gonna buy this. I literally, I can't make any big farms. I can't really do any type of animal farms. One hour is just not enough. We have 35 minutes left right now. So if I can create an industrial mine shaft, we might be able to get our, actually, let's try this. Let's try this again. Okay, that was like 15 seconds of like digging. We grew to like 10 levels. We have 
So it made us about 200 bucks. It wasn't anything crazy there. And I don't know that that's going to be a good strategy. Unless we can level up to 100, we might unlock something new. Level 100. Let's sell all the crap we got again. To only make $400 and invest that much time just doesn't make a lot of sense to keep doing it. Sand? We haven't done any sand. Did this sell for something? I'm literally just going to like empty this because there could be clay in here. Let's go. All right, so we just mined a bunch of clay. What is this gonna sell? Nothing, unless we smelt the clay into bricks and then sell the bricks to other players. Okay, wait, there's another idea. You get a daily reward, I think, just for logging in. $5,000, we'll take it. I mean, it brings us to 11, it gives us more to invest. We need to flip something. We gotta get stuff on the market at all times. Sponges are kind of rare, actually. I'm gonna do the sponges? This is a risk, but sponges are limited resources because you can only find them in certain parts of the world. So any limited resource to me is something that's worth buying. So I'm gonna try to flip it for... 19,000 maybe? Okay, so while that's all listed, we have three items being sold. 29 minutes, guys, we're halfway done. We have $1,000, a lot of stuff on the market though. Maybe if I dig straight down a few times, I'll get lucky and hit a mine shaft or a chest or like anything else, like a cave. I don't know, let's just see what happens. You know what, get some flint, maybe that'll sell. Okay, this is interesting. We get gunpowder from breaking gravel because our mining level is level 105. That's one of the perks that we get. So that's another way we can make money. So what's gunpowder worth? 181. Ooh, that's not as much as I thought. Can I make TNT though? Six of them. And then are any on the auction house? So the cheapest I see is 50,000 for a stack. Let's double check that. That seems crazy. They're selling for 781 each. We'll do 3,500, make it look a little cheaper. All right, well, that could be some more money. Say that right now. I did not expect that to be a strategy. I, I, we're, we're just not, we're not getting lucky here like I was hoping for. I I gotta start getting a little worried too about my items not selling yet because with just 26 minutes remaining, uh, and if I don't sell them, I gotta keep lowering them till they go. Actually, I'm just gonna do it now. Let's be safe. The worst thing is to have these listed at the end and not sell them. I'll do 10, 29,000, 13. I might even take a loss on the sponges. I just wanna get rid of them. Those scare me because it's such a niche item. Like very few people actually need sponges, right? So like, I feel like it's not like a lot of people. Oh, sheep, come here, buddy. I wonder if I could get a sheep in here. I could probably use a wheat. Hello, sir. I would like to have a sheep. Oh, yes, come to me. Yes, come to me, sheep. Yes, come into hold. We can't really afford a cage, so, uh, come. Come here. Yeah, get in there. Go in. Look at that, guys. We got ourselves a sheep. Why is no one buying my stuff? These are like good prices. No, someone's undercutting me. I listed mine for 29,000. Someone else came in and did 20,000 right after me. There are literally people like competing with me. I'll do 19, bro. I literally cannot believe this. We just lost like $15,000 just because the market started heating up. We still have the best fireworks in the market. I think it's a matter of time. I'm gonna do the fireworks at nine because that's a little bit better to appeal to swallow. We need these to sell. If we don't do this, imagine if I only had $1,000 at the end. It would break my heart. Come on. Oh, oh. I don't know what I just bought. It looked like some sort of a custom item. A zombie heart. What is this? What is this? Can I do anything with it? Why do I, why did I buy this? It's even, it doesn't do anything. What's the value of it? I'm going to just sell one of them. I bought them for $1,000. So I put one on the market for 20K. I could invite people here and open up a business and maybe somehow make money from that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. Uh, we have 20 minutes to get this business on the road. So if I get a chest down and a chest shop, maybe I put my zombie heart inside of this and try to sell it here as well. So now you can see if players click on this, they'll see that I'm selling this for 100,000 each. It's just like, I don't know. The other one didn't even sell for 20. So why would this one sell for a hundred? We got to get this stuff to sell, man. All right, let's try the shop idea. So yeah, I put that out into chat. Not a single person accepted my teleport request. It's not looking great. I'm, I'm actually like panicking, man. How are we going to sell this? Uh, maybe if I do like a little like design and then invite people to come, they're more likely to buy it because like then I could force them to only look at this item when they get here. I'm gonna try to make some fences here. Okay, so cute little design. People come, they say one super rare item, I'm gonna buy it. So let's try this. Game Freak just teleported here. Putting a trade, here we go. Zombie heart, a spider spawner. See if he accepts it. I just marked his ready, he just marked his ready. Bro, we just traded up to a spider spawner. Bro just gave me some diamonds too for the great trade. Uh, this is really nice of him. Honestly, would not have expected that. I could farm with this or I could see what this is worth and sell it and trade up even further. Let's see what spider spawners are worth. Order it by price. 100,000. Now we're gonna try to sell this for a cheaper price. I'm gonna undercut the market big time. $75,000. This should sell fast. If anybody's looking to make a profit, the long-term players can make some right here. It even has a signature, bro, from one of my admins that makes it worth so much more. We're down to 12 minutes. I gotta start telling chat. Hey guys, great spider spawner on age for sale only. 75K, sell some items here. I'm gonna have to list it cheaper. Like I, I'm at the point now, I cannot end with nothing. So we have to go through and list our items for such incredible deals. It's unavoidable. I will cut it by 50. Okay, we bought the zombie heart. We already made a profit. I'll just sell it for 2K, call it a day. These, 5,000. This, we're gonna take a loss on it. I'm sorry, but we will. 1,000 for these. Cheapest key is 35,000. 
19. I am undercutting this by over 12,000. It's like, it's, it's just, it's just mind blowing. Nine minutes, dude. Oh no, dude. Oh, 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 we just sold two items. So that's going to give us some money. Thank God we sold something. I mean, at least we're, we're back like where we were like an hour ago. Okay. Another item for a thousand. Here we go. Another item for 5,000. Dude, we're, we're actually selling almost everything now. The last thing is the biggest thing. We literally are down to crunch time, guys, with just seven minutes left. If that sells, I will hit my goal and make $100,000 without leaving this circle. And that means I win the challenge and get double my money on my actual trade-up series. Oh, we sold it. Someone just bought it. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. I haven't even sold my sponges yet. Hold up. We got to lower it even more. 4,900. I would be shocked if those didn't sell. I mean, that is a deal. Start clearing out the inventory here. Nothing else can be sold to the shop. Guys, that is it. Time literally just expired now, which means we made $101,000 and completed the challenge. You guys enjoyed today's series. Make sure you watch all the episodes by clicking here and subscribe if you're interested in more. Peace.